Hey, what's going on you guys? Chad Christian coming at you with another exciting video. Today I wanted to show you if you could use a 4K HDR TV as your main computer monitor. So this is a 43 inch Sony. I'll leave the specs on the description and on the screen for you so you can check it out. Just wanted to show you some different examples of workflow and if you can actually use this to do your daily work. So what does it look like? I shot this video in 4K, so if you hit that cogwheel down below, change it to 4K and you'll actually see this in its true beauty. So let's get into it. So this is what the screen looks like. And you can see that I actually have this set to its native 4K resolution. I have it at 3840 by 2160, which is actually the 4K that the TVs output, even though true 4K is at your 4,000 by 2,000 and I'm running everything at hundred and fifty percent versus 100 if you go down to 100 you'll see that you can get a ton of information on your screen at once but a little hard to read some things but if you have excellent eyes and you want more information on your screen then by all means do that I'll show you what it looks like at 200 percent So there it is, blown up a little bit bigger. So you can see that with the 4K, it actually transitions itself well using the different DPI. Some of the quick things here to note, if you want the lowest amount of lag, you wanna change your TV to gaming mode so that your response time is as fast as it can go, which I believe on this TV is 33 milliseconds. Stick around for another video where I'll show you where the Xbox One S with the HDR mode looks like on this TV. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe so you don't miss it. So you can see that I'm in 4K right here. And that's what the resolution looks like off of YouTube. Excellent quality. The color as well. The color is uh, nice and vibrant and full. Now this does show up as a 12-bit panel, even though online it says it's a 10-bit panel, so this will also do the Dolby Vision, which 10-bit right now is what everybody's looking for. So if you're looking at the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One S, you want to make sure that your TV has the at least the 10-bit to take advantage, the full advantage of the HDR capabilities. Now, what about regular workday flow? How does it look? Is the text clear? Do you see any jagged lines? You can see there that the display is crystal clear. There are no jagged lines. You can't see any pixelation. And I'm literally two feet from the monitor, which I'd like to get a bigger desk and have me a little bit farther away, but Maybe I'll, I'll do that and I'll show you guys the new office setup. This is office setup 3.0 right now. <laughs> Details crystal clear. Looks good. How does this look for gaming? Let me show you what that looks like. We'll put Gears of War 4 on there because that takes full advantage of the HDR capabilities right now. Now I am running an NVIDIA EVGA FTW 1080 graphics card and I am running all of this at 4K on Ultra on every game. So you can see there I'm running at 3840 by 2160 which is the 4K resolution. I'll turn the vertical sync off. Everything else is set to Ultra. And let me show you what that looks like. So you can see everything is just crystal clear. I don't have fraps or anything turned on, but I can guarantee you I'm running over 60 frames a second. <laughs> So 
So hopefully that video is picking up how clear that image is. I have zero lag, zero screen tearing. Just trying to show you some different dynamic lighting in the environment here. A fire out there. I mean, look at how clear he looks. Now, I am going to do a separate gaming video on this. So I'll make sure you subscribe to see that, but um, I will show you what all the games look like. I just wanted to show you that in an office environment or in your home, you could use this for work or play. Now here's something great for you video editors out there or YouTube content creators. You get so much real estate using a monitor of this size. So here's just something that I whipped up real quick for my son who's leaving for Germany in the Air Force. But I just put a bunch of pictures together. Look at the real estate on that. You can do so many things at once. And remember, I have this set at 150%. So if I decrease this to 100%, let's see how much I can get on the screen at one time. So how's that for a work environment? <laughs> it was so many things in here. And it's just lag free. It's just a fantastic setup. Now here's another game that's uh, that has HDR. This is Battlefield 1. Let me show you what I got the option set to, just so you can see the 4K. So you can see 3840 by 2160. And that's running at 60 hertz, so 60 frames a second. Vertical sync off. And here's what it looks like in 4K with the dynamic lighting. effects in this. You see the smoke and look at the horizon and the lighting. Look at the buttons. Just looks so good. It's like a real fog of war, doesn't it? <laughs> We've taken objective, George. We have the dreadnought on route.
Yikes. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. So yeah, just some things to remember that you want to take your desk size and how far away you're going to be from the screen into account when you're looking at getting different sizes because honestly you could get, you know, this is a 43 inch, but you could get a 60 or a 65 inch for only $100 or $150 more. But if you don't have the screen space for it, are you going to be too close to this monitor? Then you just want to go with the smallest, best monitor that you can purchase, especially if you're looking at it for long periods of time. I'm in front of this monitor eight to 10 hours a day, so I wanna make sure that I have the best picture quality. The screen would be bright enough, which this gets up to a thousand nits of brightness. I like the fact that it has an Android uh, system built into it, so I have the Netflix apps and everything else at my fingertips. It's fully integrated into my Google Home, so I like having that whole home automation system set up. It looks good, it's got a, a low millisecond seek time so that my video games are lag free so when I want to take some downtime I can do that. So basically you want to check off all those things from your list and make sure you get the, the most bang for your buck. Let me know down in the description any other videos that you guys want to see and uh, I'll make sure to take care of that for you. And that's going to do it for my video today, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys on the next video.